MTD Network have been lucky enough to be invited to Columbia Precision in Birmingham. Now, I'm going to quote my friend Lindsay on this. I'm excited because this is a fantastic machine shop. I'm going to have a chat with our friend Gio, who's going to talk me through some of the machines. So let's crack on. Right, Gio, I'm going to put you into the test. Now, there's loads of machines in this machine shop, but you're going to get 30 seconds on each one. We're not going to do every one, but first of all, this Matt's here, impressive machine. Yeah, this, this Matsura especially is a, is a bit special. They've got six on site, I believe. This, this Matsura has got uh, 240 tools. Um, it's got six pallets, but large pallets. It's a beast of a machine, 20,000 RPM. You'll see a Matsura such as this as companies like Rolls-Royce. It's unusual to see them at end user companies um, such as Columbia Precision. So that really just illustrates what a company uh, Columbia is and the capabilities that they've got. And showcasing the fantastic components they make. Oh, the components that they make, I'm, I'm sure we're going to get to see some of them. The complex. I'm going to stop you there, Gio, because your 30 seconds is up on this. Let's go okay. see the next machine. Come on. Right, Gio, next 30 seconds, Mazak HCN 4000. Hit it. I was speaking to an engineer earlier and this twin parallel horizontal, he said that the power of this Mazak is, is just unbelievable. They're, they're roughing out cylinders on this uh, machine and it's dedicated to them particular components. The swarf that it's producing, unbelievable. Chromar swarf management system on here, but the rigidity, the speed, the accuracy and the programming language is spot on. Excellent. Right, next one, Herco, let's go. So, Geo Herco, they've got a load of Hercos. This one, the VMX 42i. This is another great example of some of the machines they have here at Columbia Precision. Excellent machine, they absolutely love it. They've had lots of these machines in the past and they've obviously evolved. They love the flexibility of the machines. They do lots of low volume prototype work on this machine and also medium volume work. They've put a four axis unit on this particular uh, machine. They love the programming and the software of the machine and it, it, it's so easy to use. And a little thing, touch screen as well. It is touchscreen, the new Max uh, control system is touchscreen and it's effectively, they said that it's improved their efficiency through the new software. Okay. I'll tell you what, Joe, 30 seconds up, next one, let's go. Yeah. Gio, we showcased some of the machines, which are great, great machines, but look, we're getting a chance to walk through the actual full machine shop. Loads of Matsuras, Herco's behind me, just talk me through some of them, please. Yeah, well, here they've got the MAM. Um, 32, 35 Vs as well, um, and they've got another four of them here. So they can run lights out and at weekend. They can run low volume work and high volume work. They've got lots of flexibility and the complexity of the parts, as we've seen, um, they can pretty much make anything. Okay, now we're talk milling here. What else have they got? So they've got NDT and they've got non-destructive testing. That's correct, Colin. And they've got the CAD suite. They've got the inspection area uh, with the CMM machines. And um, so, you know, they've got everything in house pretty much. And yeah. they've got everything under control. And I know it's got detail and finishing, but one other thing we've missed out, which is. Yeah, that right, that's right, Colin. We've got the turning. Let's go over and have a look. Let's go and have a look then, come on. Right, Gio, we're over the road now. First of all, what's upstairs? Upstairs they have a tool room with milling machines um, where they manufacture their own jigs and fixtures so they can keep everything in house. Okay. Now, I'm going to steal your thunder now. We're not going to grind to a halt. Sorry about the pun. Mm -hmm. I've just seen over there though, they've got a grinder, state-of-the-art Studer S33. Now, what accuracy does that go to? Really impressive machine, sub-micron accuracy. Not bad stuff. And repeatable too? Um, a micron, I believe. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Now, looking around here, turning, well, turning cell, I call it. But I think they like their Mazaks. Yeah, they love their Mazaks. They have nine Mazak lathes in total um, in this cell. And I was talking to one of the engineers. He just he, he couldn't praise them enough in regards to their accuracy, the programming, and how simple it is to program, and how easy they are to set. And he would buy another one. Oh, there you go. So there we are, Columbia Precision, Aston in Birmingham. Need I say more? The video speaks for itself.